people welcome to my channel today's video I'm really excited to do it's in collaboration with a new fragrance house and before we jump into the video if you're new here welcome if you're returning welcome back thank you so much for your support if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing please hit the like button and activate that notification bell and without further ado let's get into this review so this new fragrance house I'll be reviewing and talking about today is Juliana's Perfume. And they're a brand new fragrance house and they make scents that are inspired by luxury niche designer perfume brands. So they have reached out to me and asked me to review these fragrances for you guys and give my 100% unbiased opinion, which I always do. I will tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly, whatever the case may be. The company is 100% vegan. They're cruelty-free, which is a huge plus for me, as you know, if you have been watching my channel. So at the moment, they have these two discovery kits. This discovery kit has these sample size bottles in it. They will be coming out with new fragrances each month based on the customer's feedback. So that's great to know. And uh, they're very customer centric, which is awesome. And these are also custom sets. They can be completely customized to suit your needs. So there are five samples in each of these boxes and you can pick your own combination of five. So that's another great point because these will make great Christmas gifts. These are perfect for the holidays. The presentation is absolutely stunning. The box looks luxurious, it looks expensive, and the bottles inside are absolutely stunning. They have frosted glass, and they have the name of the fragrance and the ingredients, which is excellent so that you could see what the fragrance is named and what ingredients are in this fragrance. And um, they have the gold top and it just looks very, very luxurious. There's all this attention to little details. And I mean, this set, these sets look pricey. They retail for $39 and they were kind enough to give me a 10% discount code to offer you guys when you shop their website and you get 10% off with the code LALA10. I will put my code in the description box below as well as the link to their website. And I'm going to go through each of the fragrances and tell you which scents they're inspired by. So this is the first set. And the first fragrance we have here is Selfish Kind of Love. This one is inspired by Dior Ad. And smells just like Dior Attic. I have to tell you, it smells identical to Dior Attic. I own that one. I love that one. I've worn it numerous times. It smells. It has that little bit powdery, a little bit creamy vanilla. There's that tonka bean. It's sweet. It smells just like Dior Attic. This one's beautiful. The next one here is called Floral Extract, and this one is inspired by Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. And the notes in this are rose, orange, peony, apricot. Yeah, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. It smells just like, just like it. Yeah. So the next one I have in the box is called Aurora, and this is a Baccarat Rouge 540, inspired by fragrance. I'll put some up here. So this one is very intriguing and interesting because not only does it smell like Baccarat Rouge, 
but it has like its own vibe going on. They put some different notes in here as well. And it has a smokiness to it that Bakura Bridge 540 doesn't have. So even though this is a dupe, it has something extra in it that I'm really enjoying. I love that smokiness. It's sweet, smoky. Oh, it's delicious. Yeah. This smells more like cotton candy and um, a little bit of that burnt sugar. And it's a smoother almost and smoky. And it's just, I have to say the quality of these fragrances is unbelievable. Chef's kiss. I am thoroughly impressed. These are all niche quality that you can tell the nature of the ingredients in the sets and they don't smell synthetic at all. They smell very niche. The next one I have in this box is called Heavenly Soul. And this one is a dupe for Gris Dior, which is Dior's private collection. And I will read some of the notes to you. This has oak moss, rose patchouli, sandalwood, white musk, bergamot, cedar, lemon. It has aquatic notes and amber. So I'll spray some on. And the atomizer is so nice. The sprayer just really disperses it nicely and luxuriously. Oh, this is such a good one. I haven't tried the one from Dior, so I can't speak to that or how similar they smell, but the scent is gorgeous. This is beautiful. It's a little bit citrusy, warm, creamy, delicious scent. And like I said, the ingredients in here are just incredible. They're top notch. So the next one I have in the box is called Wicked Fantasy. This one is inspired by Lancôme Oud Bouquet. And this one is a spot on dupe for Lancôme Oud Bouquet. So this has rose, this has oud. For those of you who are familiar with that fragrance, you know what it smells like. Mm, so good, it smells just like it. Exact, exact. You get that beautiful rose, you get that oud, which is very sweet and beginner friendly. And I love this one. And at the end of this video, I will tell you which ones I will choose to customize my own box. So that's it for box number one. Now I am going to go through box number two. It's the same design. It says Juliana's perfume. And it's extrait de parfum. The formulas are extrait de parfum, which is highly concentrated. The lasting power is great on these. Projection is great. Sillage. It's just like I said, quality is top notch. I do have to say it's top notch. So yeah, let me get into these. So the first one I have in the second box is called Bad B. I like that name. And this one is inspired by Armani Privé Rouge Malachite. Now I have not smelled that one, so I can't speak to the sameness of it. It opens up more tuberosey and then the jasmine kicks in and you, I get that blast of alien, which I know many that reviewed the Rouge Malachite said that it smells like. It's a very expensive version of alien. Uh, that private line is pricey. And so it's great to have these alternatives. The next one I have here is called Monroe. And this is inspired by a fragrance I have never heard of before. And the fragrance is called Holy Peony by Dior. I haven't heard about that fragrance, but I will read the notes to you. This has the notes of 
peony, rose, apricot. It says dewy notes, bitter almond, and musk. And although I have not heard of this, I really, really love the scent. It's, it's floral, it's green a little bit, it's fruity. You get that peony and the apricot and the two just smell so amazing together. Wow, yeah, this one is beautiful. So this next one is Red Carpet Affair and this is inspired by Angelique Noir by Guerlain. And I have never smelled that one before. I was very curious about it. And I will spray some here. Mm, this is such a beautiful green vanilla scent. It has a green pear in it that comes through. There's vanilla, it's sweet, it's green. This has notes of vanilla, angelica, pear, and it's absolutely delicious. This is such a delicious vanilla. I love this interpretation of vanilla. It smells absolutely divine. This next one is called Aphrodite's Rose. And this one is actually inspired by Inicio's Atomic Rose. This has notes of Bulgarian Rose, vanilla, almond, green notes, pink pepper, and amberwood. So the first time I sprayed this before I knew which scent it was inspired by, I was like, wait, that's Delina. Is that you, girl? It's like, is that you, girl? Delina exclusive? More Delina exclusive than Delina. And I was like, it smells just like it. I have not tried Anishio's Atomic Rose, but I heard that it was very similar to Delina exclusive. It was more of like a beast mode, which Delina exclusive already is, I think. But this one is beast mode. This one like lasted on my skin, projected like crazy. Sillage is beautiful. And put some here. Mm, it's so intoxicating. I love this scent. And Anishio's Atomic Rose is pricey. Anishio in general is a pricey brand. It's nice to have this be so affordable. And uh, once they come out with their full sizes, I will be all over that because I think their quality is just, I can't say enough about how good the quality of these fragrances is. This one is called Love Triangle and this one is inspired by, by Dior's Ombre Nuit. And uh, that one is also from Dior's Private Line as some of the others were. And I'll read some of the notes to you. This has amber, pink pepper, there's rose, there's tonka bean, there's clove, cinnamon, vetiver, there's amorous, and heliotrope. And I can't speak to it smelling like ombre and wheat since I have not tried that one. Then, oh, let's face them on. Mm. It's resinous. It's a little spicy with that pink pepper and the clove. It has a spicy kick to it. It's fresh. It's sweet. I smell the tonka bean. I smell the amber. And um, just really delicious smelling. So that's a total of 10 fragrances that I just reviewed for you guys, uh, two boxes, five fragrances in each. And I will tell you which ones I would pick from my customized box. I would pick Aurora, which is the inspired by Baccarat Rouge 540 one. I would also pick Heavenly Soul, which is inspired by Gris Dior. I would also pick Wicked Fantasy, which is inspired by Oud Bouquet by Lancôme. I would also pick the Red Carpet Affair, which is inspired by Angelique Noir by Guerlain. And lastly, I would pick Aphrodite's Rose, which is inspired by Inicio's Atomic Rose. 
such a beautiful one. So I think that makes it five. Oh, they are just amazing. I really recommend you pick up a sample pack, customize it, or pick one that's already done. I think these will make amazing gifts for the holiday season for yourself, for your loved ones, friends, family. I can't recommend this enough. I mean, these are amazing. This really blew me away. And thank you so much, Juliana's Perfume, for reaching out to me and sending me these to review. That concludes my video for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you back here soon. Take care.